yes welcome once again to the class and uh, today we are starting a brand new course on chemistry optional for ias exam upsc csc chemistry optional so what is the syllabus and all those stuff you can find everywhere on youtube so if you want the entire course then subscribe to our channel <coughs> you will get the entire course over here okay i will upload one video daily you just watch it but also join one coaching simultaneously because coaching will provide you the necessary stuff okay uh, i can already provide you the videos as i am a very busy person so that's why i can provide you the lecture series okay i cannot provide you some other things which the coaching institutes might provide you so you must also join coaching and use these videos also as a uh, as a supplement okay as a supplement use these videos also okay so let's start we will start with the goc okay organic chemistry we are starting we will start with the general organic chemistry okay goc it is called as goc in short so electronic effects are of three kinds you must have learned in your graduation years electronic effects electronic effects are of three kinds what are the three kinds of uh, electronic effects not three kinds they they are something like this okay two two types basically so electronic effects or electron displacement effects okay it is also called as electron displacement effect these are of two types that is your permanent effect and temporary effect okay permanent effect temporary effect in temporary effect we have something called as electromeric effect in permanent effect we have three types of effects that is your inductive effect inductive effect mesomeric effect mesomeric or resonance effect and the third one is hyperconjugative effect okay so how do we define the electronic effect how do we define the electronic effect electronic def effect definition electronic effect the definition of electronic effect is as follows the effect which appears due to electronic distribution the effect which appears due to electronic distribution 
distribution is called electronic effect okay so inductive effect we will start with we will learn what is inductive effect okay so let's put the heading you must have seen a diagram of this kind in your uh, graduation years that uh, there are four carbon atoms one chlorine is attached to it okay obviously there will be a hydrogens also in this it is quite obvious that there will be hydrogens also okay there will be hydrogens also in this but usually we do not draw the hydrogens you know this very well right and the carbon has four valency so you cannot show the valency to be more than four all these things also you know very well now the car uh, chlorine has more electronegativity as compared to carbon so there will be a delta negative charge on chlorine because the electron cloud over here this electron cloud will spend more time with chlorine okay so as chlorine has higher electronegativity so write down over here as cl has higher electronegativity so the electron cloud sigma electron cloud you should write sigma electron cloud between c and cl c cl bond will spend more time around chlorine around chlorine so that's why it acquires a delta negative charge that's why it acquires a delta negative charge now over here the, uh, the carbon will acquire a delta positive charge okay similarly the carbon which is adjacent to this what will happen to the adjacent carbon the carbon which is just adjacent it will also acquire a delta positive charge but double delta positive charge okay then the carbon which is over here it will acquire triple means the intensity the magnitude of acquired charge will keep on decreasing the magnitude of acquired charge will keep on decreasing and after third carbon the effect will be very low okay after third carbon this is first carbon this is second carbon after chlorine this is third carbon after chlorine so after third carbon the effect of uh, this inductive effect has negligible effects this on this fourth carbon there will be negligible effect of this in uh, this inductive effect will have no effect on the fourth carbon okay so that's how you can uh, you can understand this thing okay now this uh, arrow over here we can draw some arrows also for example we have four c with us and one chlorine is there no need to draw the hydrogen okay so the, the we can denote the electron withdrawing nature of this like this okay over here delta negative over here delta positive then electron withdrawing nature like this with double arrows because the magnitude of uh, electron withdrawing effect will decrease then delta delta positive so only this and then delta 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 positive okay so this is carbon number 1 carbon number 2 carbon number 3 and carbon number 4 okay so normal cc bond has no polarity a normal let me write uh, over here in inductive effect some notes okay let us write some notes the normal cc bond the 
नॉर्मल कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड द नॉर्मल सीसी बॉन्ड हैज नो पॉलरिटी द नॉर्मल सीसी बॉन्ड हैज नो पॉलरिटी एस टू एटम्स है ऑफ सेम इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी वैल्यू एस इट इज अ होमो होमो बॉन्ड राइट होमो न्यूक्लियर बॉन्ड सो एट इज एज इट इज अ होमो न्यूक्लियर बॉन्ड सो नॉर्मल सी सी बॉन्ड हैज नो पॉलरिटी एज टू एटम्स ऑफ सेम इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी एन वैल्यू आर कनेक्टेड टू इच अदर ओके सेम इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी वैल्यू टू एटम्स आर कनेक्टेड टू इच अदर सो देर विल बी नो पोलैरिटी द इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड विल स्पेंड इक्वल टाइम अराउंड बोथ द न्यूक्ली कार्बन न्यूक्ली ऑल्सो एंड अनदर कार्बन न्यूक्ली ऑल्सो इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लाउड विल स्पेंड इक्वल टाइम अराउंड बोथ ऑफ दैम ओके हैंस द बॉन्ड इज नॉन पोलर हैंस द बॉन्ड is non polar consider a carbon chain in one chlorobutene now consider a carbon chain in one chlorobutene here due to one chlorobutene means this compound only this is one chlorobutene right c c c c cl 1 2 3 4 meth eth prop but meth eth prop but one chlorobutene okay it is one chlorobutene why have we not uh, named it like this 1 2 3 4 you know this very well that 4 chlorobutene does not exist okay because means we cannot name it like that 4 chlorobutene we cannot name it like that because the substituent is chlorine chlorine is the functional functional group that is the substituent so it should get the least numbering it should get the least numbering that's why it has been named as 1 chlorobutene not 4 chlorobutene because the chlorine must get the least numbering okay that's why it has been named as 4 chlorobutene hence the bond is non polar consider a carbon chain in one chlorobutene here here what happens here due to more en electronegativity of cl atom c cl bond pair is slightly displaced towards cl atom consider carbon chain in one chlorobutene here due to more electronegativity of chlorine atom ccl bond pair is slightly displaced towards chlorine atom 
hence creating partial negative that is delta negative charge over CL atom and partial positive delta positive charge over C1 atom. What is the C1 atom? You have seen here, right? This is the C1 atom. This numbering has been discarded. This this number has been discarded as it was giving the fourth substituent to chlorine. Okay. So delta positive charges come over C1 carbon. Okay. C2 carbon has got delta delta positive because this had got delta negative. Okay. The double delta means the intensity has decreased. Triple delta means the intensity has further decreased. Okay, now for, from third carbon onwards, after third carbon that is on the fourth carbon, the inductive effect will be very low. It is almost negligible. Over C1 atom, over C1 atom, and now since C1 is slightly positive, now right over here, now since C1 is slightly positive. It will also cause it will it will also cause shifting of C1, C2 bond pair electrons towards itself. causing C2 to acquire small positive charge this is self explanatory you can see this similarly c3 acquires further slightly positive charge creating an induction of charge creating an induction of charge in carbon chain such an effect is called inductive effect 
such an effect. Such an effect is called inductive effect. Okay. So this is the thing. So hopefully you understood what is inductive effect. Okay. So thank you very much. So please subscribe to our channel.